Just want to do a quick tip about bleaching a dull sheep. First thing I'll say is it's the last resort. The next thing I'll say, it's like going to a swimming pool without a lifeguard. Enter at your own risk. We don't advocate bleaching dull sheep. If you see a dull sheep, uh, trophy pitchers, 90% of them have natural mineral staining, some browns tones in the sheep. They're not ghost white. Obviously, blood stains are subjective to what kind of shot you have on the animal and how much blood and how much care you take when you cape the animal off. So this is what we do at the Wildlife Gallery. We enter at our own risk only when we have to, and we use the 10 volume cream that you get at your hair care product store with the whitening developer. All right, we make a consistent paste. We put it on those areas that need to be lightened, the blood stain, maybe some heavy mineral stain. We let it sit for one hour, and then we give it a bath. We have a shower here, a bathing station at the Wildlife Gallery. It has to be shampooed and conditioned, just like a, a, a woman would do with their hair to get every bit of it out, because if you don't get it out, the hair will start to break off and be brittle, and it won't work anymore. This is a real good tip, not only for taxidermy clients, but mostly for our 6,000 tanning clients out there that are doing doll sheep and maybe don't have experience doing it. I hope this tip helps you.